When one thinks of Linda Carter's iconic portrayal of comic book character Wonder Woman, they likely have one specific costume in mind. But some might be surprised to learn there were actually numerous iterations of the costume over the course of the 1970s live-action series. The costume that was meant for when Wonder Woman had to go in the water was initially meant to be a two-piece bikini. But it was changed to a full-body wetsuit once it was revealed the bikini wouldn't stay on. Join Facts First as we explore how Linda Carter's Wonder Woman outfit kept falling off her body. The Case of the Super Revealing Wonder Woman Bikini When the live-action TV series Wonder Woman premiered in November of 1975, it was seen as a risk for ABC. The show was incredibly expensive to produce, and the network didn't find the prospect of a second season feasible. The show could have come to an end after season one, but CBS picked it up and produced two more. Legend has it the reason CBS picked it up was because its studio head was enamored of the revealing costume worn by star Linda Carter. And if that CBS head enjoyed the strapless costume that Wonder Woman wore, he would have loved the two-piece bikini that was initially intended to be her swimsuit. Of course, those familiar with the series know that Linda Carter adorned a full-body blue swimsuit whenever the character of Wonder Woman needed to get wet. But the original swimsuit costume that was designed for the character was a good deal more revealing and colorful. The bikini Linda Carter was supposed to wear was red, white, and blue. The reason it couldn't be used wasn't because the censors found it too revealing. Instead, the reason was a good deal more humorous. As it turns out, wardrobe malfunctions kept happening whenever she tried to put on the bikini. Linda tried to film several scenes with the red, white, and blue bikini, but each time, the top half of the bikini would slip off. Whenever this happened, she was fully revealed for the cameras. As one might imagine, this wasn't the most comfortable experience for the actress. The full-body blue swimsuit was rushed into production in the bikini's stead, and the rest is history. Wonder Woman had numerous costume variants. Though Linda Carter's Wonder Woman wore her full-body blue bathing suit when the situation called for it, most of the time she could be found in her more iconic signature costume. Of course, that was the strapless red and blue outfit emblazoned in gold with white stars on the shorts. Some may not realize that Wonder Woman actually had two distinct versions of this main costume over the course of the series. During the more expensive first season on ABC, Wonder Woman had an outfit emblazoned specifically with a gold eagle. The first season of the show took place during World War II, and its period setting was a big part of why it was so expensive to produce. When Wonder Woman was picked up by CBS, a number of changes were made to make the production more economical. One such change involved the show no longer being a period piece. During the second and third seasons, the character of Wonder Woman was in then-modern times. There were other changes made that didn't have to do with budget constraints. For one, the character of Wonder Woman was given a slight costume change. The golden eagle that Wonder Woman's costume was emblazoned with was deemed too militaristic for the second season's modernized setting. A new costume was created that switched out the eagle for a more generic gold design. Linda Carter continued wearing this slightly altered costume over the course of the show's remaining run. Though the character wore two main costumes, there's only one Linda Carter still holds on to. Linda Carter triumphed in the role of Wonder Woman Linda didn't mind how revealing her Wonder Woman costume was. She adored playing the heroic comic book character and still takes every opportunity she can to pay respects. The actress truly gave her time as Wonder Woman her all and even stepped up to perform some of her own stunts. One time, the crew of the show even got in trouble because it let Linda perform a stunt deemed too dangerous. This occurred when the crew decided the stunt woman that had been hired to perform Linda's stunts didn't look realistic enough during the filming of a certain scene where Wonder Woman was supposed to be hanging from a helicopter. This resulted in Linda being coerced into filming the scene herself. Though the actress was game, the producers were said to have been furious once they caught wind of what happened. To them, Linda was a commodity, and the crew had endangered their money. Linda Carter thankfully survived the risky filming, and the incident resulted in a story that adds to the overall legend of her portrayal of Wonder Woman. Though the show ended its run over four decades ago, and the character is now getting her own Hollywood movies, many still consider Linda's Wonder Woman to be the most iconic. A big part of the appeal of Linda's Wonder Woman is undeniably the iconic main costume she wore. 
When the situation called for it, Wonder Woman also had other variants of her costume that she could pull out to aid her during her crime fighting. Roy Rogers thought Linda Carter was too undressed. Wonder Woman changed into a full-body blue swimsuit when she needed to go in the water, but she also had other situational costumes that some fans might not remember. There was a Western-themed episode called The Bushwhackers, and it featured notable Western actor Roy Rogers in a guest-starring role. In addition to its Western theming and famous guest star, the episode is also notable for being a rare one-off costume change for Wonder Woman. Some claim it was at Roy Rogers' insistence that the character be given a less revealing costume for the episode. However, others say the costume change simply occurred because the main costume didn't work well for the scenes that called for riding on a horse. Either way, the change resulted in a new and memorable costume. There's also the motorcycle variant that the character wore at various appropriate times during the live-action series. Whenever the character needed to go on a motorcycle or some craft of the sort, she would adorn a suit designed for the situation. From a layman's perspective, the suit was just the full-body swimsuit plus some goggles and a helmet. There was also a different outfit that Wonder Woman wore while she was skateboarding. This outfit had arm pads and its own unique helmet, which was red and gold. Another part of Wonder Woman's overall wardrobe was her iconic bracelets. In the comics, these bracelets helped the character control her rage. For the live-action series, the creative choice was made to give her belt this power instead. Still, the bracelets worn by Wonder Woman in the series had plenty of power on their own as they could deflect bullets. And Wonder Woman also had her lasso. Which costume does Linda Carter prefer? Linda grew incredibly attached to Wonder Woman's costume over the course of filming. When actress Deborah Winger was invited onto the program to play her sister, Linda demanded the new character's costume have as little in common with hers as possible. Linda didn't want the new costume to simply be a copy and paste job, as she felt such a thing would detract from the power of her own costume. The actress still holds her Wonder Woman costume in reverence, but some may be surprised to find out which iteration she still has. Recently, she shared via social media that she still keeps the original Wonder Woman costume encased in glass. The costume the actress keeps is the one worn by the character during the series' World War II first season with the emblazoned Gold Eagle. Now it's time to hear from you. Which is your favorite Wonder Woman costume? Let us know in the comments section below.